Welcome back to Dinar Guru. I'm Sophia, your trusted source for all the latest in Iraqi Dinar updates. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and drop a comment to stay in the loop. Now, let's dive into today's breaking news. Stay tuned as we unravel what this announcement could signal for the weeks ahead. On November 1, 2024, Iraqi MP Mohammad al Sadani made a significant announcement regarding the country's ongoing currency transition. He stated that the transition should be completed by Victory Day, celebrated on December 10. This statement has ignited discussions about the implications of such a rapid timeline, the potential effects on Iraq's economy, and what this means for the Iraqi people. In this article, we will explore the context of this currency transition, its urgency, and the expected impacts on various sectors of Iraqi society. Understanding Iraq's currency transition The currency transition refers to Iraq's planned move from its existing currency to a new one, aimed at stabilizing the economy and combating inflation. This transition is not merely a cosmetic change but a critical step in addressing the economic challenges that have plagued Iraq for years. The Iraqi economy has been severely affected by decades of conflict, corruption, and mismanagement, leading to inflation rates that have burdened citizens and businesses alike. Historical context to appreciate the urgency behind al Sadani's announcement, it is essential to consider the historical backdrop. Iraq has undergone various economic reforms since the fall of Saddam Hussein's regime in 2003. Despite these efforts, the country continues to struggle with a fragile economy, reliance on oil revenues, and a lack of confidence in its financial systems. The decision to transition to a new currency is part of a broader strategy to restore trust in the Iraqi economy and enhance its international standing. Economic Indicators As of late 2024, Iraq's economic indicators reflect a nation in distress. The inflation rate remains high affecting purchasing power and savings. The currency transition aims to stabilize prices, control inflation, and restore the public's faith in the monetary system. al Sadani's emphasis on completing the transition by December 10 suggests a recognition of the pressing need for economic stabilization before the end of the year. The implications of a rapid transition economic stability completing the currency transition by Victory Day could potentially bring about significant changes in Iraq's economic landscape. A well-implemented transition can lead to increased economic stability, as it may help control inflation and enhance the purchasing power of citizens. By introducing a new currency that reflects the true value of goods and services, the government aims to restore confidence among investors and consumers. International relations al Sadani's statement also carries implications for Iraq's international relations. Successfully transitioning to a new currency could improve Iraq's standing among international financial institutions, potentially unlocking foreign investment and assistance. It may also facilitate better trade relations with neighboring countries, fostering a more robust regional economy. Socioeconomic impact The urgency of this transition cannot be understated as it directly impacts the daily lives of Iraqi citizens. A rapid implementation plan means that the government must ensure that the population is adequately prepared for the change. Education campaigns about the new currency, its value, and how it will be integrated into the economy will be crucial. Failure to manage this transition effectively could lead to confusion, economic instability, and loss of public trust. Challenges to a successful transition While al Sadani's timeline is ambitious, several challenges could impede the successful implementation of the currency transition. Political stability Political instability remains a significant concern in Iraq. The country has experienced periodic unrest, and any resurgence of protests or violence could disrupt the transition process. Ensuring that the political environment is conducive to economic reform is crucial for the success of the currency transition. Public trust building public trust in the new currency is paramount. Many Iraqis have lost faith in the government and its ability to manage the economy. The transition will require a comprehensive communication strategy to inform citizens about the benefits of the new currency and how it will improve their lives. Failure to gain public trust could lead to resistance and hinder the transition. Infrastructure and technology The successful implementation of a currency transition requires robust infrastructure and technology. 
Iraq's banking system must be prepared to handle the transition seamlessly. This includes updating systems, training staff, and ensuring that ATMs and point-of-sale systems are compatible with the new currency. Challenges in this area could lead to delays and confusion among consumers. Global economic conditions The global economic environment can also affect Iraq's currency transition. Fluctuations in oil prices, economic crises in other countries, and changes in international trade policies can impact Iraq's economy. The government must navigate these external factors while implementing the transition to ensure its success. The path forward. Key steps for implementation to successfully complete the currency transition by Victory Day. The Iraqi government must take several key steps. 1. Comprehensive planning A detailed implementation plan must be developed, outlining the steps required to transition to the new currency. This plan should include timelines, responsibilities, and contingencies to address potential challenges. 2. Public education campaign An extensive public education campaign is vital to prepare citizens for the transition. This campaign should include information on the new currency's value, how it will be used, and the benefits it will bring to the economy. Utilizing various media channels will ensure that the message reaches a broad audience. 3. Collaboration with financial institutions The government must work closely with banks and financial institutions to ensure a smooth transition. This collaboration will involve updating systems, training personnel, and ensuring that all financial entities are prepared for the change. 4. Monitoring and evaluation Establishing a monitoring and evaluation system will be essential to assess the transition's progress. This system will help identify issues early on and allow for adjustments to the implementation plan as necessary. 5. Maintaining political stability The government must prioritize maintaining political stability during the transition. Engaging with various political factions and civil society organizations can help build consensus and support for the currency change. In the end I will request my friends who are watching me let's be positive and patient because patience is the key to success. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.